Paging Dr. Ruby. Dr. Ruby is here and ready to help. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to Paging Dr. Ruby. My name is Zach Martinson. And I'm Katie Hurst. We'll be your host for today's episode about Phone Sign Manor. We received a wonderful comment from blog reader Samantha requesting a bit of advice. Says Samantha, I'm the nicest person, but sometimes my choice of words make me seem rude or in a hurry. We're so glad you found our blog, Samantha. Learning how to make the best impression over the phone is an important skill, and thankfully, it's an easy one to master with the right tools. In honor of Samantha's question, we're going to share some of our favorite must-have habits for wowing callers. Tip number one, speak in an inviting tone. From word one, aim for a tone of voice that says, I'm friendly, professional, and so glad you called. I'm here to help you. A surefire way to ensure a welcoming tone is to smile. Pretend you're face-to-face -face with your caller and show a grin as you speak. Tip number two, match your caller's pace. If your caller is brief and to the point, strive for concise, pleasant responses. Likewise, take your time with callers who may speak more slowly or those for whom English may not be their first language. A fast rate of speech can sound intimidating or confusing to a slower talking caller. So if you know yourself to be a fast talker, like me, take special care, slow down when your caller's pace does. Tip number three, ask permission. When asking a question of your caller, begin with may I, as in may I ask who's calling, or may I place you on hold for a moment? Skip commands like I need your name or hold please, and when a caller gives you what they want, be sure to say thank you. These beautiful little words never go out of style. Pepper thank you into every conversation. Tip number four, be enthusiastic. Look for opportunities to use powerfully positive words like absolutely, certainly, wonderful, I'll be happy to and I'll be delighted to. Tip number five, show what you can do and not what you can't do. Don't worry about having the right answer to every question. Instead, be prepared with an upbeat reply that shows you're dedicated to finding the answers. That's a great question. I'll do my best to find the answer for you. Tip number six, lend a hand. When you need to verify or clarify a piece of information, try prompting your caller with your best guess. Thank you. Is that terror with a T as in terrific? Tip number seven, be extra nice when you need to ask twice. If you're having a hard time hearing your caller, pour the politeness on thick. I, I apologize, I'm having a bit of trouble hearing you. Would you mind repeating that? Sounds a heck of a lot better than uh, what, right? We hope these tips help you keep your phone side manner positive and helpful. And many thanks to Samantha for asking such a great question. Do you have a burning question for Dr. Ruby? Send us your questions on Twitter at CallRuby, Facebook, or put them in the comments below. Thanks guys! See you next time!